Silence gripped the court as the narrative evoked fear and awe. The meal had been finished for some time, and the fires were beginning to die low. If Tamerlane turned west, he surely would have collided with a mighty Ottoman Empire. Would he even dare to do such a thing? For some time, the local Turkoman tribes of the Levant had been requesting aid against Ottoman aggression. With his army rested and his coffers full of Indian riches, Tamerlane was ready for more bloodshed. He knew there was more than one way to motivate an army. Religious fervor, the promises of land and lander drove his men forward. This land was familiar with the terror of previous invasions, but nothing could prepare them for the onslaught that lay ahead. Thirsting for glory, Tamerlane's armies flooded across mountains, plains, and rivers to terrorize Armenia, Georgia, and the Levant. The feeble states at the Levant lie at our feet. Let us show them the true meaning of fear. And when you scare about the men, Bach Raymond, the shun team. Amrinis, Hobaniri. Azur, Shunti, has offered to help supply our home. Thank <laughs> you. 
hazır. Hiç mümkün inler. Emriniz teşekkürler.
to offer us gold in exchange for leaving their lands. Miners have offered to unearth a holy relic for us. Providers, we can defend them. Hey, Yarma. Kishinga. Salam Argaima.
Enemy envoys hasten in vain to offer us gold in exchange for leaving their lands. Oh. 
Tamerlane's forces ran a rampant, looting and burning as they went. For a land that had only recently experienced the plague, this scourge must have seemed to signal the end of the world. Although he was known for his military campaigns, Tamerlane was also a patron of the arts. When the city was sacked, the artisans and scholars were spurred and sent to his capital at Samarkand, where they created a vibrant blend of cultures. Populations who resisted him, however, were not saved. After his siege had broken the Armenian fortress of Van, Tamerlane ordered its inhabitants hurled from the cracks. Just like Hulegu, roughly a century before, Tamerlane showed particular cruelty to the city of Baghdad. Each man in Tamerlane's army was required to bring him two heads. The warriors slaughtered the population of the city, then slew the prisoners they had brought with them. It is said that to satisfy Tamerlane's command, some even slew their own wives. For the survivors of this savagery, it seemed as if the sun would never rise again. <laughs> <laughs> 